Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my quilt room. Today, I would like to talk with you for a little while about a quilting technique called applique. A few years ago, a new quilt shop opened up down the road from me, and I contacted the owner, and she invited me to come down and observe a class that she was teaching that night. So I did, and I began watching the ladies come in with their sewing machine and their items, and they were setting up, and I noticed that they were learning how to do applique. Well, at one point during the meeting, the teacher asked all the students, so do we want our next project to be applique? And almost in unison, they all said no. Well, applique is not hard. It's simply sewing one fabric to another. And there are products out there today to help make this easy and fun. So our first product that we want to look at is called Heat Bond. And it'll come, it's paper on one side, it has the instructions on it, and it's got, you can feel the difference in the texture. This is the glue side. And you will iron your fabric to the glue side of the Heat Bond. And then when you're ready to put what you um, have made your applique item, you will simply, like I did with this bunny, you will peel the paper off of the back and you can see it's glossy and shiny. And so now, once you've taken the paper off, you can center it on your block and you simply take your iron and you hold it on there and you iron it onto the block. Now this one is a product called Fusible Interfacing. And if you've done any type of uh, clothing sewing or anything like that in the past, you've used interfacing before. And this just has little bumps on it and they're glue. And so you would sew your fabric to the interfacing and turn it inside out so that you get a nice smooth edge. Also, if you don't have either of these products available to you, you can always use some tacky glue or even Elmer's glue, just a few dots to hold your item onto your block until you can sew around it. Now let's talk about sewing around the applique. There are two methods of applique. There is the raw edge, and the smooth edge. You need to make sure that you have either an open toe foot attachment for your sewing machine or some type of attachment to do embroidery. Simply sewing around the outside edge is considered raw edge. And a smooth edge, it would be turned under like this. You don't always have to start with something that's large like a quilt. You can start with something small. Maybe you want to make a little pillow because the thought of doing an entire quilt is overwhelming. And this will give you time to practice and get used to how to maneuver your machine as you're doing a zigzag. Here's an apron that I made recently. And I wanted to add just my own touch to it. So I used the Heat Bond product and I traced around a letter B and then I zigzag stitched around the outside edge. And you can find all kinds of appliques on the internet. Um, here I have taken the back off of a uh, Valentine candy box. I found this butterfly on the internet. Someone asked me to make a butterfly quilt for them. I've printed out letters um, on the internet, block and um, cursive, and I just printed them out on cardstock and cut them out. So you can do that. There's all kinds of nice little things that you can print out that are available. Now behind me, are some different types of applique that I wanted to show you. This first one that's strawberry, this is a raw edge 
applique. My grandmother made this quilt and it's one of my treasures. I just love it. And you can see on the edge, they simply cut the strawberries out and the stems and then they zigzagged around the outside edge. Now if you were to launder this, the edges, um, they may fray up a little bit, but that's part of the fun of the raw edge type of applique. The next one is the Dresden, and the petals are all turned under. This would be a smooth edge applique. The center of the block has the fusible interfacing sewn to it, and I've ironed it down and then zigzagged all the way around the outside edge. This quilt over here, this is a traditional churn dash block. And to make it my own and to be whimsical, I added these uh, swags with scallops on them. This was used with heat bond and then I zigzag stitched around the outside edge and put the stars between them. This is what it looks like at the corner with two stars in each corner. So doing applique and adding things like this to your traditional quilt patterns, it just adds fun and whimsy and it's a way to make things personal and your own. Here is a pillow sham that I did. I made a new quilt for my bed and then I took the leftovers and I like to use up all the scraps and so I decided to make two pillow shams the, uh, pet, the flower petals mimic the pattern that is uh, in the quilt, and I added a button to the center. And so this is just another way that you can add applique to your projects. Don't be afraid to try it. Start small. You don't have to do anything big. If you like my videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.